Hey, this is Steve Halleck at TikToking. As always, you can find me at TikToking.com and at Steve Halleck on Instagram. Please take a minute and hit subscribe and like and the notifications bell and all the things on my YouTube channel. I'm trying to really grow this thing and give you great reviews every week uh, and it helps to get nice feedback of people actually liking and watching and uh, continuing uh, all the good vibes on this channel. Okay, so today I have one that a lot of people have requested. This is the Grubel Forcey Balancier S, their sport watch, and it is uh, maybe, you know, maybe the best daily wearer ever made. So we're gonna dig right into it. Um, the most notable thing I would say about this watch is the incredibly unusual case shape. Uh, and it's hard to, you know, even explain it in pictures. So this is a particularly good one to do a video on. Now look straight down at this watch and it looks like a round watch. But the moment you turn it in any direction, you can see that it's actually sort of an oval and the entire thing is curved. It's an incredible optical illusion on the wrist, round, oval and basically it looks flat and then you can see that it's curved it's really crazy it's an incredibly complex shape and I've never seen anything like it you'll see later when I put it on the wrist that uh, the shape really makes it wear like nothing else it reminds me a lot of the first time I put a Richard Meal on I don't know if you guys have um, read I think I, I wrote a piece for Hodinkee many years ago about how the Richard Mille RMO2 is the watch that got me into, uh, you know, this crazy world of horology. And also, I think I mentioned it in my RM2 video. Uh, but basically, I never even knew that watches this expensive existed. And then I put it on my wrist and it was so comfortable and looked so cool that just immediately I thought like, oh my God, I have to have that. Uh, and this watch is very similar. The first time you put it on, you're just like, oh, I could absolutely wear this watch every single day. It could be my only watch. Uh, and uh, so anyway, we'll dig into it. Let's go into the technical stuff. Um, chronometrically, Grubel always does something interesting in each watch to kind of uh, make the rate keeping function of the watch uh, extra great, I guess. And in this case, you can see that the balance wheel is actually at a 30 degree angle, which if you remember from some of their other tourbillon watches, they've done extensive research and found that uh, these angles are a way to get uh, better uh, chronometric performance on the wrist. Um, so you have a 30 degree angle and you have their in-house uh, variable inertia balance wheel and it's quite large. So these are the kind of chronometric functions. Now the rest is just to make it interesting. Not only is the watch curved, but the entire movement itself steps up that curve. So you have the balance at the 30 degree angle following the curve. And then if you can see the wheel train here goes actually up this bridge. So it's not flat. Each wheel steps up to another level making the hands the highest point of the movement here. But you can see that this first wheel is down on the base plate. And by the end, you've stepped up over the barrel and up to the top of this bridge. It's very, very cool in person. It's something I haven't totally seen. You know, it sort of is a little bit like the Ulysse Nardin Freak a little bit like uh, like a Corum Golden Bridge or something like that, where you have all these wheels uh, in a line on the dial. Um, but I've never seen it done also using the depth dimension here. So it gives a very cool look. Uh, you do have a seconds hand down here, which is nice to have, and you have a power reserve. This is the barrel up here. Again, I've described Grubel finishing as like the first time you ever saw an HD television after watching SD for your whole life, 
everything just is so crisp and pops in a way that nothing else does. You know, people say like, what is comparable to Grubel or is Grubel better than blah, 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 blah. Nothing is comparable to Grubel. Just get it in your head. If you care about finishing, nobody finishes like Grubel Forcey does. And so that comes to the finishing of this watch. Now on the front, it looks pretty utilitarian. Nothing's super flashy, but also you look and see that it is perfect, perfect, perfect. This plate here is actually a separate plate from here. This one's, they're both kind of matte grained and this one's black and this one's gray. And they look at the just crispness of that line the finishing of the screws, this bridge that's got the uh, inside grain finish. It's just all perfect. And then you learn that these plates are actually titanium. So the entire movement of this watch is in titanium. Now imagine getting this level of finish on titanium. It's one thing to do it on brass, but on titanium, it's totally bananas. So you have this just immaculately finished movement and case, and it's very light because even the movement is titanium, although it's not a small watch. It's, I think, 40, either 43 or 43 and a half millimeters. Um, but you'll see because of the curve, it wears perfectly, perfectly on the wrist. And uh, actually, I just learned that the newer version, the S2, they went to 46 millimeters. So actually this original version of the Balenciaga S will be the only 43 millimeter sport watch, which, uh, and now it's discontinued. They only made 18 in this gray and they made 18 in blue. And I think they made a few in green and a few other colors, but basically um, these are the only 43s and then they went to 46, which I think is a big mistake, but you know, who am I to say? Anyway, um, some other, things that you've got here. You've got these red tipped hands, obviously, and you can see there's a black strap and a black crown. Now this watch has something really cool. It comes with two other straps, in this case, white and red, and two other crowns, white and red. So it comes with a tool where you can take the strap off and you can actually push out the crown and you can replace the crown to match the strap. So you can go, red red you can go i've seen uh people wear it uh with a red crown to match this but still on the black strap you can go white white uh you know any combination that you want and you can see that black white and red are all represented in the watch so they can all kind of work in their own way i've never seen anything like that the crown system is really really cool it's basically a tool and it presses in here and when you press in here it releases the crown and then another one just slides right over um, so, it, you know, this piece with the, the rubber. No, it's awesome to feel. It's big crown and it has these rubber pieces and it is a manual wind watch. And man, it just winds buttery smooth and the crown feels great in the fingers. So one polarizing aspect of the design of this is the uh, words on the bezel. Grubel calls these their core values. Um, and... I actually kind of like them. To be honest, when you're wearing the watch and it's more than, you know, a couple feet uh, away, they don't read as words. You can't really see that. It just reads as like a different, darker color. If you've seen, they made a, a carbon bezel version of this watch. And actually with the words, it doesn't look that different than the carbon version. It's it's You just kind of see it as a darker, more textured thing. It's only when you get up close, like in this video or like pictures on Instagram, that you can even make out that they are words. Um, and I find that that's actually kind of nice, to be honest. The, the words are sort of, um, they're applicable, especially, I like perfection down here at six. First of all, it's so perfectly Grubel Forcey, um, but it also is, it's kind of a nice thing, you know, to look at during the day, it's a little bit of motivation. And uh, these are all uh, great qualities to live up to in daily life. And they do become very personal. You can only really read them as the wearer of the watch. You're the only one that's really that close 
to them. And to everybody else, it just reads as a, as a sort of darker bezel. So uh, let me show you the watch on the wrist because that's where it really shines. So there you can see straight on round, but then watch the complex form on the wrist and it just hugs and it's light and the size is absolutely perfect. You can see I do not have a big wrist, but it looks, you know, you get the three dimensionality, you get the size, you get the sportiness, but it's not a big watch by any means and just fits on the wrist absolutely perfectly. So in my mind, this is very close to a perfect watch. However, it does fall down in one major respect, and that is unfortunately the price. Um, this thing comes in at pretty close to a quarter million dollars. Uh, and and I, I think the problem for me is, you know, you, what you're getting for that is a perfect object. You, this is almost the like platonic form of a modern sport watch. It is perfect in every way. It's amazing on the wrist. It's easy to tell the time. It's perfectly crafted, perfectly finished. It looks great. You can wear it with anything. It's super versatile. Uh, it, it's got it all. However, we all know that kind of money is, is almost indefensible to spend on anything. And uh, if you are going to spend that much money, for me, I sort of like to prefer to spend it on something kind of spectacular. So there I would go, you know, for even maybe a Grubel Tourbillon, uh, you know, you can pick up in that range or uh, some of the, you know, other crazy stuff that I like to wear or you get into minute repeaters or, you know, you get into real amazing art pieces. Um, and uh, I don't know, in my mind, it's hard to justify a quarter million dollars on what uh, sort of comes out to be a utilitarian object. However, that being said, it's the best of the best of the best of the best, and it's perfection. And if I were the type of person who only wore one watch, I could very easily see this being my one watch, wear it every day, wear it for everything, never think about watches again. Uh, it, it's, it's that good, and it works that well. Um, so, Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is the Grubel 4C Balancier S. Uh, if you like the video, again, please hit subscribe. Uh, ring that notifications bell if you want to know when, uh, when my new videos come up. And please feel free to share my channel with any watch guys that you happen to be friends with. Um, you know, for some reason, people haven't, haven't found this thing. I've got 20,000 or so people uh, watching on, on Instagram and then only like a thousand come over here. So uh, let's, uh, let's get this thing cranking and I'll keep bringing you guys great watches. All right, I'll see you next week.